Hello hello, my name is Leo and welcome to Blau Films. This video is one of 14 videos on self-sustainable filmmaking. So let's begin. Digital assets. When you are making your film, you are probably leaving digital opportunities on the table. Monetizing your short film can start as early as pre-production. How? Through implementing the three categories of self-sustainable filmmaking. And it starts with digital assets. What counts as digital assets? And why are they so valuable? An example would be resources and tools. Depending on the type of film you're making, you will face a variety of challenges. And guess what? So will many other filmmakers who are making a similar type of film. Look at your favorite movies. What challenges did they have to solve to achieve those images you truly love? For The Lord of the Rings, Weta had to simulate hundreds of thousands of soldiers in a massive battle. Their solution? A software package that they accurately called Massive. But some challenges are not that next level. If you are simply attempting a vintage film stock look, you could create a film emulation LUT. For our sci-fi film Syntactic Labyrinths, we ran into the problem of having flickering star assets in space. This is because most star assets that were available at the time were low dynamic range and didn't have enough consistent brightness. Our solution? We reached out to NASA and then painstakingly cut out 23,000 stars from their high-res imagery. We then treated each single star to become a high dynamic range asset. Now that's a digital resource. As you can imagine, you can make the R&D for your resources as elaborate as you like. It all depends on the requirements of your creative vision. So why are resources so valuable to the monetization of your film? You are really creating a win-win scenario. You or your team will have to develop these resources anyway if you want to achieve your desired result. And people across the globe that are facing similar challenges would love to pay for your solution. Whether you are hosting your resources on a third-party platform such as Gumroad, ArtStation Marketplace or on your own website, you are providing additional value to the marketplace and saving someone from having a huge headache. But that's not all. If your solution truly adds that much value and you have become an expert on solving this problem, you will attract the attention of high-paying customers that can in turn generate outsized returns even compared with the total budget of your production. Make sure you document your problem-solving process either in the form of white papers, case studies or breakdowns so that the industry can truly understand the value that you and your solution have to offer. Now what else is a digital asset? Your film itself in a digital form or when hosted online. If you think that doesn't sound very profitable, I think you're missing the bigger picture. Your film, in essence, is one big lead magnet. Over the years, it will continuously generate a compound audience. Whether you are hosting it on a third-party platform such as YouTube, or you are simply storing it as a DCP, you are ensuring a customer direct distribution for your project. People will be able to continuously refer back to your film for years to come. This could result in networking opportunities, sales of distribution licenses, or any other revenue stream that's attached to your viewer count. If this crash course was helpful to you, leave a comment about the type of project that you are working on and I'll be happy to give you some extra advice. If you truly want to integrate self-sustainable filmmaking into your project, I'm happy to answer your questions during our live webinar. To all the artists and filmmakers in our community, thanks so much for leaving comments and reaching out. It's amazing to speak to you guys and just share ideas, and I'm happy to see that we can all grow together. But for now, I'll see you in the next video about physical assets.